In this video I'm going to be replacing a transmission shifter cable in this 2003 Chevy Trailblazer with a 4.2 liter 6 cylinder engine. So here's what's going on with the truck. I have it in drive. I'm going to put it all the way into park. And you'll see that the indicator shows that it's still in reverse. So I've got it reversed now, neutral, drive. I'm going to sling it all the way up to park. And it won't go all the way into park. So I know exactly what's wrong with this shifter cable. Admittedly, I broke it trying to fix it. So this is a self inflicted repair, but in any event, the whole shifter cable needs replaced. In the meantime, I, I got to be able to get this into park. Once I let go of this button, the safety switch in here isn't going to activate, so now my shifter is just stuck. So I pulled the emergency brake. The truck is currently in reverse, so you probably want to, you know, chalk the back wheels or something, make sure your truck doesn't rever go in reverse. But I got to manually slide the lever on the transmission into park, so I got to climb under this thing. Now we're, we're in park, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the engine off. Again, be sure to have your emergency brake on if you are in this, if you have the same situation. Um, it's extremely dangerous to be underneath the vehicle while it's in gear. Um, so you've got to make sure that your wheels are blocked, emergency brakes on, or have somebody come sit in here and press the brake pedal while you climb under and put it manually into, into park. So again, it's pretty dangerous to be underneath the vehicle while it's in gear. So in any event, I'll show you how I broke it trying to fix it. Alright so this whole self-inflicted repair fiasco started when I was uh, fixing the shifter cable bushing here. Now I was working on the car and I tried to put it in gear and I found that the shifter cable wasn't engaging, it wasn't going to park, it wasn't going into gear. That's because the bushing on this cable broke so what I did was I went to AutoZone and got a Dorman replacement bushing kit that they had on the shelf. It's a universal kit. As I was looking at this, I'll pop this off as I was looking at this and trying to get this bushing in I broke it right here so with this cable being broken and floppy right here it keeps the shifter from going into park because it's, it's too flimsy it's too loose and because I broke this I have to replace this whole thing which ended up being about 50 bucks uh, for a brand new cable. So we'll get this old cable off and then we'll put the new one on and I'll show you how I do it. Alright getting the shifter cable off from underneath the vehicle is really not that hard. Just got to pull this clip out and you're going to need that to put back in later. There are two tabs on the cable. You want to push those in and then push forward. Alright that comes out nicely. And then if you follow the end of the end of the cable, it comes to this little clip right here underneath the car. Just want to pull that out. I'm not going to be real careful with it. Okay, just pop that out, and we'll get this clip out. And now we got to push this grommet uh, up through the floorboard. Okay, so that's all we got to do on the bottom end. Now on the top end, we're going to have to tear up the console. All right, here's what I did to get the console up. I took two bolts out of the cup holders took two bolts out here and if you look inside the the center console you, there's a little plastic mat you got to pull the plastic mat up and there are two screws there and then right here in this little cubby there's a little rubber tray you want to pull that out two screws there so that, pop that out and uh, kind of gave me a little more access to get this uh, center console up now here's the thing I, I believe I just goofed up big time what you talking about little? <laughs> I was popping this up, it was kind of coming undone, I thought maybe there were these little pop clips, but if you look closely, um, these things look like they've broken, and so I looked underneath here, I think these are actually plastic riveted together, so now this isn't going to snap back down into place, so I think you're going to have to take up the whole console instead of trying to pop this up, I mean you could certainly do this and uh, break them, but it will be held down with the cup holder and these two screws here so it shouldn't move around too much it may rattle because this is all kind of loose now so I wish I uh, would have realized what I was doing I thought I was pull pulling up pop 
clips, but they weren't. You are one pathetic loser. So anyway, if you want to get the whole console up, there's a bolt here and a bolt there, and I'm pretty sure this whole console is just absolutely garbage. Whoever owned this thing before I did took this out before and broke everything. So this thing is just as broke as can be. But you got these two bolts here, and that should lift out the whole console. And there is a little Torx screw right here. You can undo that, and that'll take the shifter handle off, and then you'd be able to get this whole thing up and out of the way. But since I broke everything like an idiot, I can actually move the console up and out of the way right here and there's the shifter cable right there so now that this is out of the way we can disconnect the shifter cable from the shifter itself just a quick tip if you have the extended version the third row seat you have a rear air uh, controls there is a wiring harness you'll need to disconnect first all right and using a screwdriver I just kind of pried the uh, shifter link off and now we've got to get the cable bracket off this clamp clip here I'm gonna get it right around in here Try that forward and then lift up. Alright, our cable's free and then we'll snake that down. Now we've got to pull up the carpet. Alright, so there is one screw right here in this panel. I'll need to undo that so I can move this panel back. Okay, so I removed the one screw and I pulled this panel back and then right here there's a pop clip. You can pop that back to give you a little bit more leverage there. Now we're going to pop the uh, trim piece up here. So we can get the carpet up. These are all just little pop clamps here too. Okay. So we'll get this trim out of the way and then we'll start just folding this carpet back. So I went ahead and unscrewed the other side of this panel, took the other pop clip out, so this is out of the way. Took the shifter knob off, there's that little Torx screw that goes right here. Just undo that, slip that off, it gave me a lot more visibility. And what I ended up doing was, I just reached under here, and I just found the cable, and just started really pulling hard on it, and tugging on it. And then I end up getting a screwdriver and kind of prying some of the stuff out of the way, like this air conditioning duct, wiring harness and carpet. And so pulling hard and tugging and, and uh, pulling back the carpet has got this cable loose and finally out. And I tell you, that was kind of a bear. Um, if you're having to replace this on your vehicle, stick with it. Um, you'll get it eventually. You may bust a few knuckles doing it, but now that I got that out, push the cable down through the floorboard. Okay, let's go get the new one. Okay, new shifter cable. I got this from Rock Auto. It is part number 157-85087. All right, you can tell that it is an exact replacement part. All the fittings are where they need to be, all the clips, clamps, and grommets. So we'll uh, put this bad boy in and get this truck fixed. Okay, so we'll just push this bracket in from behind there and push forward. Lock that into place. And then we'll take the shifter cable and put it on the edge the linkage firm press right there gets that in and there was this gray um, button on the top I'll we'll need to push down to lock this adjuster in place all right sorry I didn't catch this on video but I needed two hands to do it I pushed the the gray piece down all the way in to where these little tabs finally uh, stick out and lock and then this black uh, slider piece I just slid it over the top and that locks that down in place so that's all all in and I almost forgot gotta put the metal retainer back in all right so we push this clip back in and now we are ready to go top side all right I finally got it to come up through the carpet um, it's, I got it to snake up basically straight ahead so I really got underneath there with my arm moved the cable up this direction and forced it to come up towards the top I didn't go underneath this duct this time 
I'm not gonna lie, that that's a bear. That took a lot of effort to, to get that uh, cable to come up through the carpet. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous, but in any event, it's it's here. I've got the bracket right here, ready to snap into place. But first, I want to make sure that my grommet down here is put back together. So we'll snake this grommet down. Okay, and that just slides down and clicks into place. All right, so I took the linkage on the transmission. And I shoved it all the way to forward for park and now I can see this lines up good from our, our cable so I'm just gonna take a pair of pliers and just kind of squeeze this into place okay so the shifters on go ahead and turn the key like it's working fine. Put all this back together. All right, laid all the carpet back in place, tucked it back underneath everything, got the rocker panel trim piece back on. Now it's time to put the console back together, putting all the trim pieces and uh, screws back in. So that's how you replace a transmission shifter cable on a 2003 Chevrolet Failblazer. Not that hard of a job really. The biggest bear was pulling the cable off of the shifter end underneath the carpet. My suggestion would be to remove the entire center console. Don't just pull the top part off where the shifter is. That ended up being plastic rivets. I thought they were going to be snap uh, clips and now that's all broken. So don't do it the way I did. I mean you can if you want but it will be broken. Uh, I would recommend taking out the whole center console, take out that little torque screw off of the shifter, and that comes off, and then you can take off the whole center console after you remove all the, the screws and the bolts. The new cable I got from rockauto.com, it cost me $47.78, I paid some shipping, so about 50 bucks, I got a brand new cable. Hopefully you found this video helpful, appreciate you watching, God bless. Music